what is up everybody TRG swap here bringing you another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create a cinematic similar to the one I did in Kenny's episode so I'll find it Oops. right here alright so there's the cinematic you know with an intro cropped to the wall alright so I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Oh, and other news. Thank you for 200 subscribers. That's what this tutorial is about. Um, I really want to know what you guys want to see on these tutorials, so I don't have to just, you know, guess what you might want to see. Um, so comment below on all these tutorials saying what you want to see next. It helps me out a lot. Alright, so this is, yeah, this is what I, it's, it's going to look like this. Alright. So, let's go to new. Alright. Now, first you have to start with a raw cinematic. So, you're going to go to your, you know, recorded cinematic, like so. If you don't know how to get cinematics like these, here's what you do. You go into a private match, you set the spectating mode to free, and you turn hardcore mode on. And that's pretty much it. Have a friend stand where you want to stand, and you're the cameraman, you can do what you want. So first, when you have these cinematics like this, you have to crop out the buttons and stuff. Cause like I know, whenever I see those buttons and stuff, I know that that editor does not know what they're doing. So make sure you guys look like you know what you're doing at least. Make sure this maintain aspect ratio is on no, so it fills out the entire screen. Cause if you leave it on yes, you'll have black bars from cropping it. So put that on no when you're doing cinematics. So now we have this guy standing here and it's gonna be in like real time basically as if he was just like sitting there waving around so you're gonna have to slow mo it and I'll just do it all the way I pretty much for this tutorial alright so now you're gonna want to get the intro on this box what you're gonna do now is right click insert video track you're gonna open up the intro that you wanna put there so go to where you save the intro. You can find any intro on any, you know, like if you want Flatlines intro, go to their channel and they'll have a link for it. So we'll take Flatlines. Uh, remove the audio like that. So remove it from the group. Delete that track. Now you're thinking, hmm, all I see is intro now, no cinematic. What's going on? This level right here is the opacity level. That's like, you know, how strong it is and how bold, basically, I think. Um, turn that down, and you'll start to see your cinematic come through. Turn, I, I'm going to turn it down to like 50% for this. So a lot of people will, you know, leave the intro to cover the entire screen. And then they'll fade it in like this, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, flat lines over the cinematic, and you still have your guy here. That's pretty cool. If you want to do that, there you go. You just learned how to do that. If you want to crop it, if you want to crop it to the container or wall or whatever you want, then you got to go like this. you got to go to your pan and crop. Turn the zoom down to like um, 10 for this video. So we get a big look on it. You're going to want to make this bigger so the intro is smaller in like size comparison to the entire frame. And you're going to basically just move it into where you want it to be. And you're going to either turn it, you know, depending on which way it's going. So you can do that. I'm going to put it to like right here. Alright, so now we have the same cinematic, but instead, the intro goes in the shipment container, sort of a deal. And we still have the cinematic, but the intro's over there. And, you know, now when you add a color correction and stuff, that's going to look really nice. Like, that's going to look legitimately good. Uh, if you want to add text then, say under here, you would insert another video track, you would bring in your text, um, write whatever you want to write, is the best at tutorials. Let's pick a 
text. Make this smaller since I wrote so much. Yeah, that's too big still. So okay. So 26. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now we fade that in. We fade it out. We fade that out. We fade this out to there. And now we have something that looks like this. Alright. With the color correction and stuff, you know, and some music, it, it would look really nice. So, that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial today. Um, comment with what you want to see next in these tutorials. Uh, today was just the cinematic portion of a tutorial, so, you know, just all the easy stuff about cinematics. So, comment below with what the next tutorial is going to be about. Uh, if you want color corrections. Uh, Twixter, motion blur, stuff like that, more After Effects stuff, Vegas is, there's not a lot to do, it's basically where I just put together syncing and shit, so, oh, that's another thing, syncing, if you want to learn how to do that, uh, but yeah, this has been, uh, another tutorial, and I'm gonna make this fucking bright green, there we go.